presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Andy in Boulder, Colorado. Hey, Andy, what's going on, brother? How much, Tom? How you doing? I'm great, man. Yourself? Pretty good. Hey, congratulations on the grandbaby. Yes, thank you. I know. <laughs> he just said, Tommy just sent me a picture. I mean, it's gorgeous out right now. He just was taking him out for his first walk this morning. All He's right. growling and prowling already. Yeah, I bet. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. To master love, you have to practice love. The art of relationship is a whole mastery, and the only way to reach mastery is with practice. To master relationship is therefore about taking action, not about attaining knowledge. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 240, NASDAQ up 34, SP's up 26, gold contract down $8.60, traded at 1655 an ounce. We got silver down 11 cents, $18.60 an ounce. Light sweet crude down 267, $82.84 a barrel. Notes and bonds. A 10 year note up seven ticks at 110.29. The 30 year up seven at 123.19. And King Dollar. King Dollar up 105 ticks, trading 112.14. The Euro is at 98. The yen is at 149. And the British pound is at 113 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877. 9276648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the SPs, let's take a look at them. What do you have? You got a nice volatile market out here, folks, in spades. So I'm going to bring up the futures first because if you take a look at this, this has been kind of, no, this has been a wild market. But I want to show you this morning, okay, how this thing shook out. So we take a look, and what you're going to see, bottom line, let me put this. Yeah, there she is right there. So, okay, so if we, if we take a look at this, what you're going to see, you know, now we made it all the way up to 3777. Bottom line, it makes a turn. Now, when that's making a turn, that's what this, this exercise is about right now. When that's making a turn, if you're in front of the screen, you have to go and look and say, okay, man, is this going to give it up again? And if it's going to give it up, where's it going to go? Well, bottom line, if you use the characteristic of volume, you're going to see that bottom line yesterday, you know, we had this level up here with monster volume coming, you know, into 10 minutes before three at 36.98. Well, we went to 36.97. So as it starts making its way down there, bottom line, you want to pay attention to that. Then what does it do? Well, watch this, man. This is like so cool. It's insane. Now watch this. Then... You did a 50% retracement. Oh, oh, no. Okay, here. This is really cool. So, the SPY is still stronger than the NDX 100. So, the SPY did a 0.618 retracement. Now, when you do a 0.618 retracement after you come back downtown, what the rule is, is that you don't take out the low. I mean, you know, we know that technical analysis is basically an art, not a science, okay? But that's... The rule, okay? Well, it's my rule. <laughs> uh, and I probably got off someone else, man. That's the bottom line. But that's that's how this works. If you do a 0.618, you don't take out the bottom. What do we do? We don't take out the bottom. Now, watch this one. This is really, because this is what I was trading the end. I'm still trading the NQs. So the NQs, the, the NQs are actually easier. To, well, to me, they're easy to figure out. Easier than the S&P today. So what the NQs were doing, same setup, right? The bottom line got up to this 11,431, right? Starts to give it up. Now, as it starts to give it up, you're going to see the exact same deal, man. I mean, it's it's just crazy that, you know, this thing shakes out like this, okay? We got, um, it was 11,000, the low 11,091, and we went to 081. Now, if you put the cues up, watch what it was actually doing here. What it was doing is just filling this whole gap. So, 
This is where patience, man, is it. And it's really hard to stay in that patient deal. But the bottom line, I mean, look, you're talking about a fill with a gap. The gap, the fill with a gap was 269, uh, no, 270.01, and we went to 268.85. You know, so something that you want to pay attention to, folks, okay? Because where, you know, just when I did that update, where, where, where my, my take on this right now is that what you have, when you, when you get basically a, a decent bottom in and you're going to go for a while, this is the type of trading that happens. Now, we have three days of it so far, um, you know, because the markets are nervous, man. That's big. You know, there's no doubt about that. It's like, OK, can you really make it higher? And if you make it higher, how much higher can you go? And this is where I'm going right back to the dollar once again, because the, we know that the dollar rule. The market's right now in a monster way. And so when you look at the dollar, the dollar is up 129, but that to me is a flat market. And what does happen is that when you get a doji in the middle of just a little downtrend or an uptrend, you know, bottom line, that could be a halfway move. So if that's a halfway move, we get another couple points to go down. That would be getting you down to this 110.05. And if we get down to that level, each time the dollar goes lower, the market gets breathing room. That's that's the reality out here. We go over to the gold contract. We take a look at the gold contract. What do you have inside the gold contract? Gold contract basically sideways move out here. It's lower, but it's a sideways move. Doesn't mean much. We go into the bond market. And the bo it's so bonds as well as the dollar are running everything. Okay, and they're having a hard time getting off the bottom. That being said, what we do have is this. You have a huge contraction of volume out here inside of the bond market today. Uh, this is the active contract, okay? We're talking about the uh, December contract. And you can see when we came off the lows, that had 2.2 million contracts. Well, we've only done 1.1 million. It's very unusual, folks, when the 10-year does 1.1 million contracts. So you're pushing into the low, you're pushing with lighter volume. That also says to me that, hey, guess what? We very well may get a little pop out of here. Um, the uh, Apple Apple came out in the uh, in I'm not sure it was a PR deal. Whatever. Any bottom line, uh, Apple come out and said that. Uh, let's see what did they exactly say. Okay, after a report, Apple shares turned negative. It fell 1.3% after uh, inf the information reported that tech giant is cutting production of its iPhone 14. Plus, citing people familiar with the matter. Well, yeah, they're gonna, I mean, if you think that the i414 is going to go higher um, and have us all buy it, I don't think so, man. I mean, you see the ads. I mean, last night in the football game, right? The ads are all over the place, but the ads are saying to get a better camera. I mean, we have cameras that are unbelievable already. It's like, are you really going to go spend whatever it costs to buy, buy a 14? I don't think so. Dow, Dow Industrials right now. Up 193, we get the Nasdaq up 13, S&Ps are up 20, gold, gold 16.55, and uh, the dollar, the, we got to watch the dollar, that's the bottom line, it's at 112, 169. Stay right there, folks, I got a man, Mr. Basil Chapman, coming up. inflation, where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in the Tier 1 mining district. This is a large-scale, low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve and a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ.
Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is up 208. You get the NASDAQ up 25. S&Ps are up 22. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, Basil has an outstanding show here every trading day, folks, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Also has a great newsletter, that opening call. Now, it's very easy to get the opening call, folks. You come over to our website at TFNN. You go into newsletters. You're going to see it on the right-hand side. A left hand side rather you just hit the opening call you can get the opening call for one month for 149 dollars you get it for six months to 695 which is a savings of 199 dollars at 22 percent and you can get it for one year for 11.95 which is a savings of 593 dollars at 33 percent now they all come folks with a 30-day money-back guarantee basil has about 12 beautiful workshops out there you come in, you get it, you test it. If it works for you, awesome. If for some reason it doesn't, guess what? You get your money back. Get over there, get it. It's an amazing trading market that we have right now. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Well, as you say, it's an amazing trading. I mean, we've had some whoppers of a move on the upside <laughs> it and is, the downside. <laughs> and, you know, if, if one is able to step back and look at the picture just as a trading vehicle, as you said a moment ago, um, it's much better than having this preconception that we're crashing to the downside or we're skyrocketing to new highs. Whoops, I got a call. I'll leave that alone. And um, that's saying to buy we'll, everything, Basil. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So the, what's really important? So for us, I've been talking to you uh, for about a, a week or so, and I've been showing you my program that the diamonds are ready for some kind of a move to the upside. And it's like an elastic band being stretched. But at the same time, the type of selling pressure that's been in just in vogue, I mean, since we, we still have that short position from August the 16th, uh, from yeah, middle of August, um, as an intermediate term, one to one short the Dow the, via the DOG. But we, we've been buying the diamonds in this area because it looks very much like there must be some kind of a release of tension. But the fighting, you can see, uh, for instance, I had what I call the Chapman Wave Trin Gauge. All I use is Richard Arms yes. uh, trading in there. I, I don't use, I don't even recall exactly how he uses it, although I know how it's made up. 
but I just use two numbers on the upside and the downside. If on the upside it goes to a certain level, it means that the market it, within two days, the E-mini S&P should have a sharp move up that will help the uh, market to rally. And if it is very low, it means that the very next day, the Dow should, uh, uh, whatever the futures are, it doesn't matter because the Dow should go negative, usually early in the morning. Well, when the futures were up screaming like this, I thought, well, at one point, the Dow was up 600. How could it possibly work? Well, we came down from over 600, from a high of 30,837, uh, right down to 30,300. I mean, that's incredible that we we're able to do that. And today, there's another flashing signal that says <clears throat> there should be some kind of a, a negative. It, does, it could even be minus one, but some kind of negativity in the Dow tomorrow. So with that said, basically, I'm making it as simple as possible. We are long via the Dow, diamonds for my subscribers to opening call. If the Dow can close above 30,454 is the number, but I'm really saying it needs to close above 30,500 in the next couple of days, we can start to form this cup formation. And in my show tomorrow, I'll show some of the techniques where I use the cup. I use the Chapman Wave inside wedge. That's the target resistance line in this daily chart. Yes, yeah, this little green line. And here's the resistance that we, we snapped out of three days ago. This is the Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone. So that's one thing. The other is what I was looking at what to buy. I thought I want something that could possibly be very separate from the market itself in its own orbit. So we over the last I'd say seven years, every year we've brought Bank of America towards the low of that particular phase. And as it's run up very sharply, we've taken profits. And then as it came down, we got out and then we waited and waited and we did it again. We did it a little earlier this year. It didn't quite work out. We lost a very small, I can't remember, maybe lost a half a point or we gained, but we were out of it and we waited and waited. So on Thursday, as the market was turning around, uh, intraday, I sent out an email saying to my subscribers saying, we want to buy Bank of America. Even though the earnings are coming out on Monday, it's in the sweet spot right now with the way yields are and the way the financials are set up even if it's just a trade. So we bought in the 31s and today it hit 30, uh, 35, 36 in just uh, four sessions. So that is a sign to me that says selectivity is really very important right now. I don't think you can just broadly buy any particular stock. So maybe thinking of a sector or the best stocks in the, in the sector, or maybe even the sector ETF like we've got the diamonds, and then if the market starts to unfold, moving to the upside, and I do think that there's, there's upside to come because we are extremely oversold. I'll, I'll show you the VIX index in a moment. But in this particular instance, we're being very selective. We added to uh, our portfolio today with a stock that's just been decimated down about almost 90% from its high in an area that if there is a bit of a recovery, even if it's weeks, this should participate. So being very selective, sticking more with the lower price stocks. So if you look at the volatility index, and once again, I'll say in my show, the target technicians out tomorrow, I'll talk about it because it'll be very important uh, at between 10 and 11 tomorrow to be following it. The volatility index has held very nicely up towards the highs. 34.88 was the high around about the 28th of September. <clears throat> it pulled back and then it made a pattern that I talk about, which is an arch formation. But it first had to create this cup formation. Well, what happens is when something goes back to the previous high, I like to do a vertical measure. In other words, I drew it, I just got the straight line down. You can see the MACD was strong, the unbalanced volume was strong, the stochastic went over 80%, the nine period was way over the 14. Now look at all of a sudden with this, the rally that was, uh, that was on the 12th Thursday, <clears throat> it went it didn't go above the 3488 level. It was just under it. And look, the technicals are weaker here. So I'm saying keep the numbers in mind. If the volatility index starts to trade in the 29s and the 28s, that's going to be very good for the market. If the Dow can get to that, uh, as I said before, if the Dow can rally, and it's comparable to the other indices, but in this case, I'd like it to rally to the 30,500 level. I think we've got ourselves a nice trading range uh, market. And that's the way I'm looking at it. A break underneath 29,500 says, forget it. What are you thinking? But so far, it's acting very well. And as I say, these specific areas are very important that we're looking at. And you know what's cool, Basil, is that the, you know, when you talk about the Dow and the vertical, right? 
what's actually happening out here today, the swing point from uh, October 5th, yes. we're taking out with volume. The swing point at 2.7 million, okay? And right now we are at 3.9. So uh -huh. that's saying that the diamonds, you know, should go to 321, and we're at 304. So yes. as you were doing it, you were talking, I was just looking at it and saying to myself, that's, that's quite a, um, that, that's blowing away a swing point, folks. That's the bottom line, so. Well, also what's important about that is the MACD has been positive the last uh, week or so. So Castic is at eight, 55, I want, 66. I want to see it over 80%. So those are the numbers I'm looking at. And folks, don't forget, 10 o'clock tomorrow morning, you can listen to him. Come over to our website right now, get his newsletter. You'll be growling and prowling and riding that way. Right. Basil, you have a great one, safe one. We look forward to the show tomorrow. Thank you very much. Tom Thank you. Too. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading up 251. You get the Nasdaq up uh, 52. S&P's uh, up uh, 29. Let's get over to Netflix and take a look because this is going to be really intriguing. You know, this equity has got absolutely smoked. The lows 162, the high 700. Uh, they're going to be coming out right at the close today. They're going to be looking for revenue of uh, 7.8 billion. They're going to bring two. They want to bring two dollars and 12 cents to the bottom line. So, this is going to be intriguing in the context of what they can come out with. And then, of course, they're coming out with this new subscription-based service. So, if we take a look at this, you know, if we take a look at this on the daily, this is telling me this wants to go higher. Why? You can see how we pushed yesterday. Yesterday we pushed for 21 million. To, we're at 16 today. Swing before that's at 16. Swing before that's at five. Now we look at that. That doesn't look bad, right? No. Now when you take it like this, this is like a whole different animal. 
My take is it was still going higher, but this is a different animal. You can see, I mean, the straight line move down, 700, 162. The swing that it's going after, and you see this, the, the swing that it's going after there is going to be that two, uh, 251. So we'll see where this shakes out after the close, but my take is that that equity does want to go higher um, after the close. And who knows what the, the news is going to be. And, you know, if I'm right or not, but bottom line, that's what it is. Look, look at these NQs, man. This is, this is a market, folks, that I, I suspect is going to bounce for a bit because I just, yeah. When they pull back like this, man, af after, you know, decent lows, that's, that's how markets actually make a much better low. Um, so we'll see where it shakes out. You know, you can see, you know, with, well, the first time the, that we went higher, we oh this is what I wanted to show you too. Remember the so the S and P had done a 0.618 retracement where the NQs had only done a 50% retracement. Right, look at that man, right to the deal too. 50% retracement does it up. So when you do a 50% retracement, what the difference is is that it doesn't say that it has to go up to the high. Okay, it's just saying that okay, you don't know whether it's good, bad, or indifferent. I mean, a 50% retracement markets do all the time. Um, you know, it, the, the good news is that it didn't do it 0.382, because when it does a 0.382, that could have been an ABC structure on the way down. You know, right now, as I said, I just think they, they're going to run this thing, man. That, that's the bottom line. And we go back over to the dollar again for a second, because it's going to be about the dollar, man. And nothing's happened with the dollar. Well, look at that. Look at, this is interesting. Now, just look at the little tiny move. This is crazy, man. Look at the little tiny move that the dollar just made and the market could actually get higher. I mean, this is like wild, man. Look at this. I mean, all the dollar just did, we just went from 112, 179 to 112.09. And, you know, the bottom line is that, boom, it, the market breathes in about two seconds. So next, let's go to the pound, okay? The, the, the pound's not a huge um, weighting structure inside the index, but, but it is a weighting structure, okay? And you can see that's just kind of laying flat, okay? But now the euro, different ball game. We go to the euro, we take a look at the euro, and what you have with the euro, bottom line, this is this to me looks like it's going to try to make the run once again, you know, up to this uh, 99. We're at 98.52, and I think 99 is going to be game. And that part there is going to be crucial um, because of the fact that what are you going to be doing? Man, you are going to be coming right into the downtrend line. And the top of that downtrend line is 99.9.2, no, 99.925, you know. Um, and then let's go over to the bonds because our Tigris is giving me some action here, telling me what's happening, which is a beautiful thing. So we take a look at the 10-year, and there it is, man. <laughs> oh, you're going to love this market, man. So check it out. Look, look at and look at this here. This is what you want to see. Watch this. These 10-minute charts, folks, if you day trade, um, you know, try them, okay? So, so look at this. See, see, see how someone come in the market? That's, that's, we, we were just talking about when I started the program. Remember the start of the program? It was at 1.1. We already did 100,000 contracts, okay? And right there, those two, two minute, 10 minute bars, 24,000 contracts, 24,000 contracts. That's what you'd like to see. Because if you get both of them moving the same way, meaning the, the bond market moving higher, okay? The dollar moving lower, the correlation is direct, folks. It's direct, okay, no doubt. And coming in the next segment, uh, this is going to be so relevant. Uh, man, Teddy Kegstat, okay, who's on with Tommy tomorrow morning. Yeah, tomorrow morning, awesome. Uh, is going to be doing a workshop. It's going to be doing a currency workshop, and trust me, you want to you want to start understanding this. And when you when you start tackling currencies, folks, just tackle one at a time. With all this stuff, you want to tackle one at a time. And I would say the two largest things in the market and even i'm talking about trade and equities that you really want to understand is the bond and the currency that that's that's right and I'd, I'd, if this was six months ago i would say go to the bonds first because if you start understanding how bonds move it tells you how the currency is going to move in this particular case this is the most direct that i've seen in a long period of time i've seen it before but this is about the most direct you know where the dollar goes um, you know, the market wants to go. Now, let's get over to the wild card, because the wild card is the end. It's like, 
you know, I heard Tommy this morning, and it'd be really cool, you know, for any of our folks that are over in Japan listening, um, I'd love to hear from you because it's like, okay, if we just go back six months ago, it was 126 yen to one U.S. dollar. Now it's 149, okay? And, you know, the bottom line is that as it goes higher, it gets weaker. But, but you can imagine, you know, what I expect we're going to see, you know, you're going to see a lot of bread going to work, um, coming in to Japan and, you know, more than likely turn around saying, okay, what can I buy? You know, what, what can I buy? Because this is where when you have that deal about the aspect of uh, buying assets, well, buying assets with dollars, you're going to make a lot of money, man. And then here, let me just do this again for you, because where do you see this? GC1. And this is, Tommy was talking about this this morning, so watch this. You want to see the gold contract in dollars? I mean, in yen? Where do you see this, man? This is like heavy. Japan, Japan, where's it yet? Here it is. This is like unbelievable. So we take a look at this. Let me pull this back. I'm going to pull this back three years. And you can see just about all-time highs. You know, the all-time high is 255,000 yen, and we're at uh, 247. Let's go to Keith in Cedar Rapids. Hey, Keith, what's going on? Hey, Tom. How are you? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Doing great, thank you. Cool. So I'm trying to help a loved one get out of this SWKS. Um, this has been a dog for quite a while, and... Uh, the person is in kind of shell shock. Okay. Um, so what I'm looking at here, I was just telling her to s just get rid of it, sell it, and so forth, and she's not. Um, I was just curious what you see as a um, ultimate downside on this thing. I, you know, it's coming up a little bit, but on lighter volume uh, lately. Yeah. Uh, and negative volume, as a matter of fact. Or, um uh, lower volume. What am I trying to say? No, no, I got it here. Just stay right there. I mean, it's okay. So first off, you get yourself in a tough position, right? That's, you know, the yeah. hardest thing. And I, I understand you want to help someone, and that's that's cool for sure. But, you know, but <laughs> we know that it's like, oh my God, know, you talk yeah, about I get it. The pressure. I know, I know. Okay, so you know, this has been a round trip. I mean, if we if we go back to uh, March of 2020, it was sixty seven dollars, right? It goes mm -hmm. all the way up to 204, and it hit 76 uh, last week. Yeah, stay right there, Keith, okay? We'll go through, sure, through this as sure. soon as we come back. This is Tom O'Brien. This is TFNN. We have the Dow. Dow Industrials up 293. Nasdaq's up 72. S&P's up 34. Come right back, folks. Kenny Kegstad has just announced a live webinar coming up for subscribers to his newsletter, The Tiger Forex Report. Wednesday, October 26th at 4 p.m. Eastern Time, Teddy will be hosting a live 60-minute webinar, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report Newsletter. In this 60-minute webinar, Teddy will be discussing a full breakdown of the markets that influence currency pairs, as well as applying those variables to individual currency pairs, how to evaluate trading scenarios for risk versus reward, as well as a live question and answer session. Sign up now and gain instant access to this live webinar coming up, as well as a month subscription to Teddy's Tiger Forex Report, which comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this live webinar event with Teddy Kegstat, Wednesday, October 26th. Sign up now for the Tiger Forex Report at the front page of TFNN.com. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. 
the Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is up 326. Nasdaq's up 83. S&Ps are up 39. We're talking with my man Keith from Cedar Rapids, and we're talking about SWKS. So uh, where, where I think we got to go with this, Keith, right? is, you know, you tell this person to stay, hang tight. And let me show you why, all right? Because, sure. you know, there could be a little more downdraft, but this is kind of a pretty good setup. Well, it's not a great setup, but you're talking about, you know, you know you uh, how many times I've mentioned that I think we're going to the highs of the lows, right, of March, okay? Correct. So yep. the high of the low was 106, the low 67. Now, okay, the, it, it reach, reached down to 76. That's the first part. Now, the second part is more intriguing, actually. And what it is is this. When I bring this closer, see the last time that it had volume on a monthly on the way down? That's $97.59. So this is a monthly chart you're looking at now, right? So right. we came down there. You had 56 million shares traded. Well, you're going into that number there with 79 million. And then we broke it with 41. That's what you'd like to see. That's the bottom line, you know? So, you know, if if okay. you only get and now what happens here, folks, this is what I do when you get something that is this dramatic on the way down. Right. If you can catch a bounce, just a bounce. Right. So let's picture that you just get a dead cat bounce, Keith. Right. What happens mm -hmm. just on a dead cat bounce? You're going to get one twenty five out of this equity. A point three eight two. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. All right. You know, I, I I was okay. I was thinking somewhere around, uh, you know, ninety five, ninety something like that. Well, uh, okay. But, so stay with me for a second. When, when I'm saying that the mm -hmm. you know point three eight two, that would take a while. I mean, you know, but yeah. the, but the reality is is that I'm sure the person's in it for a long time when they thought they were. Do you know what I'm saying? Yep. So yep. I wouldn't be selling out down here. That's the bottom line. Yeah. 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 I get it. All yeah. right, man. I appreciate it, Tom. It's a tough Thank one. You. You try to you try to stay yeah. out of those situations, man. <laughs> know, I've been in them, man. I know because no. there's no winning, man. Yeah. There's no winning. Yeah, I know. <laughs> hey, you know, I t I say get rid of it, and then it rips high. And yeah, totally, so. totally, yeah. It's yeah. it's always a tough one, man. Because what happens, <laughs> even when you tell people to sell at highs, no one sells, man. And then they yeah. ask you, like, when they're down, should I buy? Should I sell now? It's like, oh my God, please. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I, I I think. You know, she's probably in better shape than she thinks she is right now, actually. That's what it looks like. Yeah. Okay, yeah. man. 
Have a Thanks, great man. one. Have a safe one. Let's get over. Um, you know, we talked about this yesterday, um, and this is. Uh, let me get this up here. This is Continental Research. Continental Resources. Come on, baby. Where are you? Continental. Whoops. No problem. And Harold Ham is coming in, and he's buying. He wants to take this public at highs, and the. Uh, the amazing part, let me just see, let me get this up. There we go. Okay, so let's take a look at this. There's no doubt when you have, you know, he is, you know, he definitely knows what he's doing, man, you know, because the bottom line is that, you know, he's been in this business a long time. He created a huge amount of wealth. Um, and it does say quite a bit that, you know, it, if he's buying this at highs, what does that mean? Um, yeah, can it go? Can it go get up to this eighty dollars? Yeah, it probably can. You know, I'm not quite sure. You know, I, I I get the gist that you know, if you have an operator like that buying at highs, it must be great for the the whole deal. Yeah, meaning the energy deal in general. You know, hey. We'll see where it shakes out. My, my take is that energy is going down, you know. I mean, there's a huge problem right now with diesel. There's no doubt about that. There's go <laughs> the, if diesel, what's happening right now, folks, okay, is this. Diesel, okay, is actually printing $200 a barrel out of New York. And so what ends up happening is that the, you know, the aspect, let me see if I can pull this up. I'm, I'm curious. When Tommy and I used to do the program together, we were always doing that oil price. Just see if I can get this right now. So, here we go. There it is. Oh my God! Well, wow, heating oil. This there it is right there. So, here's heating oil right here. The heating oil is diesel. So this thing is running 398. But what's 398? Well, I don't know. I don't know. The headline news is saying it's running at 200 bucks a barrel. But when I put up diesel, when I put up the U.S. heating oil here, I'm still only at 398. So, oh, that's a gallon. That's a gallon. That's a gallon. Oh well. Hey, they got to get that straightened out before the winter because if you lived in the Northeast, okay. Or, you know, the Midwest, okay, bottom line, when it gets cold, man, <laughs> uh, they're using diesel. That's, that's the bottom line. So uh, we'll see where the rest of that shakes out. Um, in, in the context of um, energy in general, though, I think, you know, yeah, if we look at, look at this oil contract again, you know, you can see you're breaking lower today. It's telling me this is going down to the bottom of the range. You know, you get that bottom of the range out here, and that's where it looks like it's going. And what's going to happen, what's going to get intriguing here is this. So picture that the administration, are going to, they're going to throw out another 100 million barrels, I believe, okay, to keep gasoline prices down. But what they're also going to do, this is where this is going to get really interesting, is that in order to start filling it, right, they are going to basically, you know, basically dictate prices and they will take bids but they're not going to do it in in the basically how how it's been done in the past that that's really smart man because the bottom line is i learned so much about oh my god i think it was about 12 or 13 years ago and what had happened i i met a guy lived right down the street from me and he trades oil okay now he trades dirty oil okay and he was explaining to me and with dirty oil is, folks, hardly no one wants it around here, okay? But there's, there's pff, barrels upon barrels of it. They sell it overseas, okay? But what I really got to learn is that the prices that we see all the time, those are the future prices, okay? The bottom line, there's deals being made all the time, all the time, much lower than the prices that we're looking at. And if that's how they, you know, start filling the reserve back up, it's a smart way to doing it. And, you know, so, so picture. For one second, picture that we're all in the oil business, right? And you have a, a supply of oil that you know is phenomenal. And then you have the chance to sell oil for the next two and a half years 
at a certain price. Meaning, let, let's say oil's going 85 right now, but you have a chance that you can sell it at 65 for two and a half years and someone's gonna buy 300 million barrels. Would you do it? Dow, Dow's up 310, Nasdaq's up 86, S&P's up 37. Stay right there, folks, we'll come right back. Technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is up 316. NASDAQ's up uh, 83. S&Ps are up 38. Let's just go take a look at uh, a couple of the ETFs and see how we're going to set up coming into this close. So if we take a look at the SPY first. Yeah, it's a nice setup, man. This, I love it when he does this. So, you, you know, bottom line, you, you went high. You closed the gap. So we don't have to go back and close the gap. That's always cool, man. Bottom line, SPY is going to head for this uh, 379. And here's the, here's the kicker. When I'm, we were on with Basil, remember he was talking about the vertical deal, and I was talking about it already taking out the swing point. The Dow is already taking out the swing point with volume. So your correlation and your probability is that the S&P is going to take it out because that's the second strongest, and then the NASDAQ. So bottom line, that's telling me, you, know, you can see the Dow took it out today with 4.3 million versus 2.7. Then we go into the Qs, and we take a look at it inside the Qs, what you have with the Qs. The swing on the Qs, that's a lot higher. The swing on the Qs at 284. You got to do 53 million shares, but you can see that the, you know, the, 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 the Qs are doing uh, 62 million out here today. 
and they're going to do they're going to do more after the close because Netflix throws high volatility into the market anyway. The bottom line is that you're going to see some scrambling out here uh, coming into the close. It buys, sells the whole ball of wax. You know, uh, let's get over to the dollar. We look at the dollar. See, the dollar's giving it up. I think the dollar's at halfway move down. I think what we're going to see, and this is where the breathing room's going to come in. That dollar, you know, bottom line wants to go to the lowest swing point. The lowest swing point there is 110.03. And then if we actually take a look at what it was going to take to break the trend, this is a big one, man. The trend is 111.334. You break that and then all aboard the night train, man, because then 105 for the dollar. We better go buy euros so we can go to the uh, Mafi Coast, sit down and drink some wine, have some olives, have some lemons, get real healthy. It's a beautiful thing, folks. Always remember, folks, the bank can claw your heart out. The bull can run you over. And thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 in the morning. Great show. Don't forget about uh, Teddy's... Uh, currency uh, webinar, folks. You can go over, sign up right now for his newsletter, 30-day money-back guarantee. You're in it. You're going to learn a lot about currencies. Currencies are running the market right now. Wham! Look at them, folks.